ready to get the day started. It's around 6.15, 6.20. Uh, got up at 4.20, went to a 5.30 workout, and now I'm ready to get this day kicked in the butt. It's been a while since I got on that cottage cheese chain. All right, buddy? It's good to be back on it. Fat-free cottage cheese. I've been getting up so early lately that by the time most, most people are even waking up or having breakfast, it's like 8.30, I'm already on my snack. I just had some handful of nuts. I already had some like corn chips, so. Also just spent the past decent amount of time responding to, I've been a little bit bad with responding to um, messages on Instagram and stuff. So I wanted to get back and like really take the time to do that. Also took some time and spent some, uh, like sent out a text and responded to all those text messages. It's about time to start scheduling some videos. We got some things posted, got some things ready to go. And now I'm gonna uh, take the time to actually go and schedule them. Just lost power again. Oh um, man. Buddy, what are we gonna do today? The uh, marry me acoustic thing or the audio visual, I think that's the dumbest word ever, but audio visualizer. And in the time that I did that, uh, the power came back on. Look at this nice and shiny table. Looking good, looking good. You wanna see something crazy? So this is the Northport uh, train station. And pre-pandemic, all of these spots, I mean, the actual like thing is all the way down there where you get your tickets, but like all these spots used to be filled from people that would go into the city. And now everybody's still working from home that like it's so incredibly empty. It's insane. Like you would have to park like all the way back there. Like I would usually park over there on that like little side thing because technically these are all like metered spots, but it's amazing. It's all like completely empty. Hey Bullet, how you doing back there, buddy? How you doing over there? You good? Yeah, okay. Bullet, sing. Good boy, sing. Good boy, Bullet, sing. Good boy. So I'm telling you, man, that disputing claims on YouTube, like, uh, what are they called? Copyright claims could be a full-time job. I've done so many throughout. I mean, I've, I've told you all the times. So look, it's just so many to go. So, so many. And the way I justify it is, I guess, like, I don't, uh, if I do them, I, I, don't, I don't know if people are really going back. I guess I could really find out and see people going and looking at the old videos. But, um... If they are, it's an opportunity to, to capitalize on the ads rather than just giving it to, get, to the, the, you know, whoever else is getting it, whether it be YouTube or the creator, or whatever the case is. But there's just video after video after video after video after video. 4:50 wake up call means that I'm in bed today. It's like 9:35, getting ready for bed. Today was an interesting day, though. It was like more or less a little bit. I would actually say lonely. That getting a little lonely, you know, being <laughs> at at home all day every day by myself. Now I see people, I think there's a difference, so this is a key difference, there's a difference between seeing people and actually spending time with people, you know, like I saw the mechanic today when I got my, my car, you know, uh, uh, oil changed, but it's not like I spent time with the mechanic, I saw my dad when he dropped off the table, but I didn't spend time, so, you know, definitely uh, gotta figure that out.